I believe that Gandhi's views were the most enlightened of all the political men in our time. We should strive to do things in his spirit, not to use violence in fighting for our cause, but by non-participation in anything you believe is evil. Strange is our situation here on earth. Each of us comes for a short visit, not knowing why, yet sometimes seeming to divine a purpose. From the standpoint of daily life, however, there is one thing we do know, that man is here for the sake of other men, above all for those upon whose smiles and well-being our own happiness depends. Small is the number of them that see with their own eyes and feel with their own hearts. Everything that is really great and inspiring is created by the individual who can labor in freedom. I believe in Spinoza's God, who reveals himself in the lawful harmony of the world not in a God who concerns himself with the fate and the doings of mankind. Intelligence is not the ability to store information, but to know where to find it. As our circle of knowledge expands, so does the circumference of darkness surrounding it. Unthinking respect for authority is the greatest enemy of truth. You do not really understand something unless you can explain it to your grandmother. Be a loner. That gives you time to wonder, to search for the truth. Have holy curiosity. Make your life worth living. Anyone who doesn't take truth seriously in small matters cannot be trusted in large ones either. Our separation from each other is an optical illusion. Everyone must become their own person, however frightful that may be. One cannot alter a condition with the same mindset that created it in the first place. Put your hand on a hot stove for a minute, and it seems like an hour. Sit with a pretty girl for an hour, and it seems like a minute. That's relativity. To punish me for my contempt for authority, fate made me an authority myself. He to whom this emotion is a stranger, who can no longer pause to wonder and stand wrapped in awe, is as good as dead, his eyes are closed. A society's competitive advantage will come not from how well its schools teach the multiplication and periodic tables, but from how well they stimulate imagination and creativity. I am not a genius, I am just curious. I ask many questions. And when the answer is simple, then God is answering. Older men start wars, but younger men fight them. Always do what's right, this will gratify some and astonish the rest. The release of atomic power has changed everything except our way of thinking, the solution to this problem lies in the heart of mankind. If only I had known, I should have become a watchmaker. I believe in intuition and inspiration. Imagination is more important than knowledge. For knowledge is limited, whereas imagination embraces the entire world, stimulating progress, giving birth to evolution, it is, strictly speaking, a real factor in scientific research. Do not grow old, no matter how long you live. 
never cease to stand like curious children before the great mystery into which we were born. It occurred to me by intuition, and music was the driving force behind that intuition. My discovery was the result of musical perception. The bigotry of the non-believer is for me nearly as funny as the bigotry of the believer. Truth is what stands the test of experience. Adversity introduces a man to himself. Gravitation cannot be held responsible for people falling in love. How on earth can you explain in terms of chemistry and physics so important a biological phenomenon as first love? Put your hand on a stove for a minute and it seems like an hour. Sit with that special girl for an hour and it seems like a minute. That's relativity. What I see in nature is a magnificent structure that we can comprehend only very imperfectly, and that must fill a thinking person with a feeling of humility. This is a genuinely religious feeling that has nothing to do with mysticism.